Hi, I'm Nolan, a game designer for Dave the Diver. Let's take a look at some gameplay and content in the early access version of our game. Dave the Diver plunges players into an oceanic adventure set in a real marine environment of a blue hole, with over 200 different kinds of sea creatures. Let's take a look at some of the exploration gameplay. Dave will explore the deep sea within this blue hole, and come into contact with all kinds of sea creatures, some for capturing to make sushi, and even some more aggressive sea creatures to be wary of. Some you'll want to avoid, but some may be worth hunting. Some creatures you will befriend, that will set you on new missions to take on. Other peaceful creatures you can engage with in other ways, like taking their picture. Once Dave's long day of diving is over, his night begins, where he takes the fish he captured during the day and sells them as sushi to make money, sometimes to special customers. Dave will work hard running back and forth, serving customers sushi, beer, and even tea. But eventually he's gonna need a helping hand. This is where staff comes in to take some of the load off Dave. And to get more money more efficiently, He's going to want to upgrade his dishes with the help of Master Chef Bancho. And here's a glimpse of just one of the bosses Dave will encounter. Unique bosses will come in all shapes and sizes. Fighting bosses won't be like hunting just ordinary fish with his harpoon. To take on big bosses, Dave will want to have the right equipment and the right weapons. Dave will need the help of Weapon Master Duff to get the right weapons for the job. This is where having the right equipment becomes such a vital part of the gameplay, and where the money Dave makes from his nighttime activities become important. The money he makes from selling sushi at the restaurant, he will spend on upgrading his oxygen tank and diving equipment, which he will need to take on various intimidating bosses. Dave will encounter bosses mostly at the end of each chapter, each boss will have its own unique characteristics and weak points that Dave will have to figure out. Not all bosses are based on strength or brute force though, so you will need to figure out what makes each boss tick. But crafting weapons and upgrading can definitely give you an advantage. So if you find yourself not fully prepared, you always have the option to retreat, get the right equipment, then come back later when you're fully prepared. We hope you enjoyed a look at the gameplay for Dave the Diver. Early Access is out now on Steam, so go check it out. We're really looking forward to any feedback we get from the community, so please share all of your opinions with us.